Okay guys, uh, here I'm going to do another set of stitch markers. These will have to do with uh, butterflies and hummingbirds. As you can see, these are different colored beads. I still have the other ones that I had left over from the first one here at a corner. Just in case I decide to incorporate them, I went ahead and uh, left the clear little crystals that I had left over. As you can see, um, but I don't believe I will need them since this pack of mixed beads does have a lot of uh, smaller beads I can incorporate into the small spaces. I do have an extra bag of those small beads in case if I need to add a few more colors into them. Okay, we'll get started. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna start with the large butterfly. As you can see, it doesn't really have like a hole. It is uh, the um, antennas and then it's just attached so I'm going to go ahead and add a ring to that so um, here I have my little ring and again since it's a spa uh, a jump ring I'm going to go ahead and hold it with both pliers and I will twist not twist sorry no twisting because we want it to close correctly just open it there we go. Uh, you can see that. I don't know why I'm having trouble focusing. But uh, it's open there. A little bit further down. Let me see if I can go ahead and clasp it in here. And since I am using a, a jump ring, I will not have to open the, the eye pin. I will just go ahead and slip it in there. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and close it back up. I don't know why it doesn't want to so grab both. Close it back up. Okay, now I'm going to hold it. Make sure to flatten it. Pinch it. And re flatten. And we're good. Since the butterfly is big, I don't really want to put too much big beads. Uh, but I, let me see if I can start with a smaller one and then kind of work myself up. Um, one that's not so big. There is a lot of red in this pack, which I kind of liked. Yeah. Try this one, and then this one's a little bit smaller. And then we'll put the red one. There we go. I like it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, with your needle nose pliers, go ahead and close up the end, twirler to make a loop. Turn it on the other side. Close it. And straighten it out a bit. Okay. Close it. There we go. Nice and closed. Careful not to break your beads. Remember, they are glass beads when you're making your stitch markers. How's that look? I think it looks pretty good. Pretty decent. I like it. Again. Another jump ring. Get my pliers. Remember when you're opening jump rings, no twisting, just from side to side open it. Put it in the loop that we just made with the needle nose pliers. And then add your, in this case, the lever back. And like I did mention, I do prefer the lever clasp but uh, I know a lot of people prefer the lever back. And then we're going to close these. There we go. And I'm going to hold it. Make sure to flatten it. Make sure they are flat. And then close it. Stitch marker. 
I'm putting my phone in a different position. Let's see, I think that helps a lot with the focusing. It's able to focus, focus a little bit better. It's just that I got less hand room, you can say. So here's this one. There's that one. I really like the way it came up. Let's do another one. There you go. Open up your eye pin. Add your charm. Again, any charm you would like to put on. Add your charm. Close it up. There we go. It's a hummingbird. Um, I know hummingbirds we have here have purple. So let's see. Let me separate my beads. They have purple on them. They have green and they have um there's another purple that's a red like a red orange and let me see how that will look so we're gonna put this red one first then we'll put the purple in the middle oh then the green one won't fit let me see if i have a shorter purple a shorter purple so we can put the green in the middle and then we'll put the purple on top Oop, yeah that'll do I like that so here we go curl at the top with your needle nose pliers make a loop and then again remember careful not to uh, break your bead as you're doing this, you can do it even though you have like a snug fit loop on there. Just always remember that these are glass beads and they will break. Speaking from experience, I have broken some. Honestly speaking, let's be honest here. There we go. Closed. Now we get our jump ring. Again, hold it with both pliers, one on the right, one on the left. Open it up. Get a good grip. Open. Okay. Put it in the loop. And put in your lever back. And we're going to close it back up. Correctly, I don't know if we can see, if we can focus. There we go. Flatten it. There we go. Give it a little pinch. Make sure it's closed. And again, flatten it. And there you go. And we have another one. I think that one came out pretty good. I like it. Got the purple the green and then it's like a red with like some clearish on the edge I'll put it right here Got that one. okay now we can do the tiny butterfly again let's open up the eye pin open it up put in our butterfly Close it. Sorry if you hear any noise. There's a bird outside I'm making some noise. I believe it's a woodpecker. There we go. The butterfly. Got this nice, pretty squared one. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can use. I really like the purple one. But I don't know what I can put at the edge. I can put I see a gold, and then the purple, and then maybe this little aqua one. What do you think? It looks kind of light on my end. I would like a little bit more color to it. You can switch it for a red one since they're all going to have like red that would 
be better. It's kind of a darker red. What if I put the little aqua one on the bottom? And then they're purple. And then this red orange. This is kind of like a red orange one. So I can get it in there. Oh, I, there we go. What do you think? Good. I have a little darker one. There's a darker red. It's smaller though. I think this little darker one will be better. Okay. Here we go again. Let's close it up with our needle nose pliers. Turn it, curl it, make a loop. Straighten it out a bit. Okay. Close it up. Now remember, these are glass beads. Be careful because they will break if we're not careful. I get it above, right above the little glass bead. And just close it on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to get our jump ring. There we go. My other pliers. And grab them firmly, side to side apart. Add your stitch marker that you just made and your lever back. Close it back up. And grab firmly. Close it back up. Lighten, pinch, lighten up again. And there you go. Got another one. I think this is pretty. I'm gonna put it over here next to the butterfly, the big butterfly. down so they won't be there in the picture this is a birdhouse as you can see the uh, you can focus on there there you go the loop on it is a little bit on the thicker side and sideways see so I am going to get a jump ring and I will be adding a jump ring on the bottom like we did with the big butterfly. These are the jump rings I use. They come in different sizes, mixed colors. I mean, I'm sorry, not mixed colors, mixed sizes. Uh, the bigger the size, the thicker the ring. I don't really use the big, big, bigger ones. But, um, oh, where'd it go? Let me just get another one. Didn't see. Oh, here it is. Right. See if I can get it to fit into here. If not, we will be using another one that's a little bit bigger. So we can fit it in here. And then we will put our eye pin there. And I like these eye pins. The only place I can find them at is at Hobby Lobby. Um... I like them because they're shorter in size. They're not that long. Okay. And um, I mean, I do like long stitch markers, depending on what I am doing, what I am working on. Um, preferably shorter ones. Sorry, we do have chickens and they are outside and I am close to the window so that was a rooster 
I'm going to close this up. One more pinch. Oops, sorry. Oh, there goes a rooster again. Sorry about that. We do live out in the ranch. Okay, there we go. See, that'll work better. See how we incorporate the ring on there? Choose the beads. Again, we've got to put that red in there. Let's try this. I do like these little flat beads. These. I think they're cute. They give it. Let's see this one. Would it be too much red? We can do a green one as well on the bottom like we did with the added a green. Here we go, red. And this one I think we can put the yellow, the golden one. There we go. Or we can do, what are the colors? We have a small purple. Like a not purple, it's more like a light lavender. Mm. We can do it another red orange one. It's a little bit darker than the one it's got on there. This one's a little bit even darker than that one, but it's kind of small. Or we can even put one of these. It's longer. Or since this one's squared, we can put uh, the squared one we had. What do you think? I like the squared one, but since none of the other beads are squared, I didn't want sh to change too much shape in there. We could do this other lavender one. And I guess we can do the green one on top. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and close this up. Twirl it. Close it. Again, remember these are glass beads, and when you're closing it, you have to be careful not to break your bead. There we go. Again, our jump ring. Okay, two pliers. Open it up. There we go. And your lever back. Now I'm going to close it back up. And close it, close it. There we go. Flatten. Pinch. And one more flatten. And there we go. We have another set. I'll move the camera a little bit up to the side. So you can see them there. I guess you can say that the color that I incorporated into all of them is the red. And well, the purple, the lavender one on three of them. This is kind of like an amber purple, I guess you can say. It's got like a coldish tone to it and the lavender at the same time. Well, we have uh, the small butterfly, the bigger butterfly, the hummingbird, and a birdhouse. So that's another set of stitch markers. Um, 
hope you enjoyed this tutorial um like i said i have a little bit of trouble recording i don't have anything to hold my phone i usually hold my phone with my hands but i ended up propping it on a little box because uh, i had it on top of a larger cup and it was having trouble to focus but i think this one focused a little bit better and we'll see you back in a little bit for another tutorial for a different stitch marker set thank you